Hi, my name is Doug Morris. I've been a distributor with Enagic since August of 2015, and it's today, December 30th, 2017. And my cousin and his wife got a an echo ionizer for Christmas from her father, and I was just testing their ionizer versus the SD501 and seeing how it comes out. Um, so let's just get started and I'm gonna test the pH of these. The alkaline water, oh, I gotta divert it. Alkaline water comes out of here and the acidic water comes out of here. And the alkaline has hydrogen gas, so it's the antioxidant water. And the acidic water has oxygen gas, so it's an oxidizing water. It's the exact opposite. This one promotes aging and decay, and this one suppresses the progress of aging and decay. So I'm going to take a sample of the acidic and the alkaline. So the alkaline is the acidic. We're going to drop it down to 9.0. We're gonna take some acidic and some alkaline. And then drop it down to 8.5. See what happens with this. We're gonna make some strong acidic water, which now this is the strong acidic water and this is the strong alkaline water, or con strong Kangen water they call it. And this, this strong acidic water kills bacteria, pathogens, viruses. It, uh, it's a mild hypochlorous acid. So it's like a disinfectant. And the strong Kangen water is, a, is used as a cleaner. It can actually clean, remove spot, spot removal, clean carpets, clean. You can put like a gallon in your, in your wash and you won't have to use any detergent. And I'm just gonna drop these drops in here and see how the pH is. It's the 9.5 and this would be a so 9.5 is two and a half over seven this would be two and a half under seven so this is like a 4.5 and this is the 9.0 and then this would be about a five. And this is the 8.5. And therefore this is about a 5.5. And then the strong acid water and the strong Kangen water. So this is the strongest setting there is on this machine and as you can see it's about so in the ph chart the it kind of goes like the colors of a rainbow roy g biv red orange yellow green blue and go so the red is you can't get to red that's like battery acid acidic and uh so a seven is neutral and then here you can see the uh, the 8.5 is basically right in here. It's a bluish, and then it goes up to 9.0, 9.5, and then 11.5, which is very purple. And then the strong acidic is it's orange. It's basically a about a 
because as you mix that up a lot. And uh, so this is what we use to kill, to disinfect, kill bacteria. We use this to clean, we use this to drink. You can drink either one of these three. We don't really want to drink this, 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 or this, or else you, unless you want to oxidize. All right, so there you have it. Another feature is the beauty water, which reverses the polarity and the beauty water is going to be slightly acidic, like a pH of maybe six. So it's going to be yellowish. And that would produce a pH of eight. Slightly alkaline. All right, so I'm going to just make some beauty water. Some of this, so. so this beauty water is slightly acidic Power and it's like an astringent and then of course so we use this for, you can use it on your face, your body, your hair also. It's great. It's awesome. All right. All right. So we're going to test the echo ionizer at the highest possible level. Level four alkaline water. And so this is the alkaline and this is the acidic. Alkaline acidic. I'm going to drop it down to level three. Drop it down to level two. And level one. So the ionizer is under the sink. It has this cool thing. They came and hooked it up for them. I think the ionizer was 3,500. I think it's a nine plate. It didn't come with any instructions or anything, so I don't really know. So that's the strongest possible alkaline, strongest possible acidic. I get these backwards. Okay. Second strongest alkaline and acidic. Third strongest. And the weakest. So as you can see, it's not very acidic. It's not gonna kill bacteria. It's not a hypochlorous acid like the uh, Enagic ones make either it's not pulling enough amperage or the fact that it doesn't have a electrolysis enhancer injector and it doesn't put saline in it makes it not as strong. These are basically about a about a nine point that's about a 9.5 it's about an 8.5 the tap water let's see that's about an 8.5 get some tap water to test that This is tap water. It's 
slightly green. About a 7.5. Greenish blue. So the strongest, it should be orange to be a 2.5 to be able to kill bacteria. It's probably in the range of about a about a six so it's really not even close to what it's supposed to be it's not even yellow much less orange it would become yellow at about a four and orange at about a 2.5 so it's right up here around a 5.56, slightly acidic. It would be good for as a beauty water, almost. Yeah, about a beauty water level, but definitely not strong acidic water. That's for sure. And uh, as for these, these are really should be purple. It's not even getting up to. A 9.5 possibly this is 9.5 but it's definitely a weak ionizer and it's definitely a waste of a lot of money anyways there you have it one thing that separates the One thing that separates the ionizers from Enagic from other ionizers is this right here. It's an electrolysis enhancer. It's like a saline solution, like a salt water basically. And it helps to ionize the water to make the strong acidic water so that it will actually kill bacteria, which is what it's supposed to do. Without the saline solution it will not create a mild hypochlorous acid and it won't kill any bacteria or viruses or pathogens also there's a cleaning cartridge that Enagic uses and you clean it about once a month it helps the uh, hydrogen gas that causes the health benefits to continue to be being produced otherwise after about a month, your parts per million of hydrogen gas goes way down, and you're basically drinking alkaline water with no hydrogen in it, which so you wouldn't get the health benefits from that. So it's important to have an ionizer, whether it's an Enagic or any ionizer, that you can clean it with like the citric acid stuff, and it's important to have a saline solution injector in order to get the benefits of being able to kill bacteria.